going on guys? My name's Anthony or Big B Stats and welcome back to another Minecraft snapshot showcase video for you guys here today and today I'm going to be showcasing off the 18W14B also talking about 18W14A also if you can drop the video like and share it it is much appreciated and shows your support for the channel so I'm going to be going over the change log list also adding a bit in of course of my opinions also touching on uh, a couple topics as well with the new features that's going to be coming uh, in the update and features that are in this snapshot as well so I'm gonna talk about the changes in 18 w 14 a because I believe I did not cover that so they had added a new item which is called the phantom membrane now if you don't know what the phantom is it is this fella here which of course it is affected by the daylight and if it comes down during the night when you haven't slept and it pretty much takes you out now phantom membrane I'm assuming drops from the phantom right now which I haven't actually tried this out to see well well, okay, there we have it. There we have Phantom, uh, Phantom Membrane, Membrane, right there. I don't know why I'm trying to say that. So there we go, Phantom Membrane. There, also, uh, that will allow you to have a new potion, which is going to be the Potion of Slow Falling. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that as well. So if we go, I wanna see if we can actually, let's try something here. Uh, let me just grab a brewing stand. We'll also grab uh, some blaze powder as well. So grab some blaze powder. And let's go ahead and chuck this down here on this section. Now this is very cool if this actually works. Um, I have the potion uh, in my inventory, but I want to tr try and see if they add it into where you can actually, you know, smelt this up. Not really smelt this up, but brew it up at least. Let's just grab ourselves a bottle here. There we go. Chuck that ball in there. So what we'll do is we'll make an awkward potion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the phantom membrane in there and see exactly what happens and what potion it's going to make. Because if I'm not mistaken, it should make the slow falling potion, which I'll show you guys exactly what that is. It does exactly how it's called slow falling, which it makes you fall quite slow. Uh, and you got to love the fact that uh, there's a new potion added in this update. So while that brews up, I will talk about uh, some more features. So they added four new advanced. Advancements. We also have new kelp textures as well. Let's see if we have some kelp in here So we have new kelp textures, which is also quite awesome. Here's like dried kelp uh, And also in here I have some more dried kelp and we have kelp uh, there So they changed up the textures. They also changed the generation rules for kelp and seagrass also the new riptide behaviors for trident so I'll talk about that as well I have a trident inside of this chest and if we go over to this our potion should be done and here we have it a slow falling potion so let's drink this up and I'll show you guys what this potion actually does so let's say I was to you know okay just imagine that I am on a block right now okay I'm on a block okay I jump off of the block look at this look how slow I fall like I'm not touching anything and look how slow I fall now I would assume that this helps a lot with fall damage and I'm really glad that they also did this as well I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and jump all the way I'll jump from this tree here so what I do is I want to see and I'm going to switch into survival and I'm gonna just fall off of this so we can see exactly if we take any damage at all. No damage. You see that, guys? Now, if I was to do that without this potion, of course I would take damage. So this is a bit better than having feather falling, honestly. I mean, you would fall quite slow, but you do avoid taking damage, which is just a major, major plus. So I love this potion. Definitely one of my favorites. They also optimize cloud rendering and some more. But we'll talk about this update also uh, the riptide as well which I want to show you guys that which I'll get more into detail about it so let me just go ahead and grab this riptide uh, here because again they did change it up I uh, should probably check this now I don't need any more phantoms so let's put this over here so right now I have the riptide uh, enchanted you know trident now you can't throw this on land now what you need to do is you need to, of course to be in water so if I'm in water now you can now throw it so that's how it needs to be activated so this is very very cool here the fact that you can do this Ooh, look at that that is just amazing okay that's a little bit of damage but however uh, let's just say you're not necessarily or let's say if it was actually raining so if we, if it's raining you still should be able to activate this at all at all times being while you're in the air so what let me go ahead and switch into creative now this is extremely neat the things you can do with this and I wonder if I have a okay I have a splash potion here that should be totally fine so let's say if we just throw this you kind of keep throwing it in the air 
Look at this. And look how you kind of twirl with it. Like, guys, this is amazing. <laughs> you gotta love this. Like, you twirl, like, with the trident. And look how far I got. Like, this almost is, like, next level. It almost looks like I'm... Okay, where'd my island go? I went so far. I kind of lost my island. Uh, is it back this way? Uh, guys? Where's my island at? I don't know where where it is. I, like, was so busy going so far. I got completely lost. All right, but this is amazing, guys. And we can keep throwing it. Like... Oh, this is so cool. I just love it. All right, so there you have it. That's what, something you can do with the... I wonder if it, it was this island. Did I already go, like, this far? Could be that I did go this far. Yeah, I did actually go this far. So there we have it, guys. Uh, that is the, the uh, you know, Riptide on the Trident. And how, how cool is that to see one... To see someone going through the air like this. Like, it's like, whoa, what is going on? Like, look at this. That is so cool. Okay, let me just make it on my... This slow falling thing is kind of crazy but I'm glad they made something opposite to of course you know like um, the levitation so of course you have something that kind of brings you down a bit lower um, all right so we'll talk about the changes in the 18w 14b which is the one we're on now so they added sea pickles yes pickles are coming to minecraft they're in minecraft right now so let me go ahead and switch into creative mode uh, here very quickly and I will show you guys these pickles <laughs> all right so all right, let me just click on this. There we go. All right, now let's go into, I mean, let me also cut the weather off as well because this is also going to annoy me as well. As much as I wanna go around with the trident, I'd much rather show you guys the sea pickles. So here we have it, sea pickle. Now, how the sea pickle works is, which I'll cover this too, uh, which they have a complete section on it, and um, they also renamed coral blocks, where they have like details and stuff, which I also will get into, and they have new coral fan textures. Also, they destroying waterlogged blocks will only destroy the block, not the water, and of course, they fix some bugs uh, as well. So, sea pickles can be placed on land and in water. So if you place it in water, Looks a bit different and it also emits a uh, kind of like a light thing to it here And as you can see it kind of has like a sprout on top of it and on land it doesn't so uh, there you have it uh, Very very cool. You can also place up to four on one block so you can place four on here So that's two three four so there we go. So you can also, you know, do the same thing here as well. I think you can do the same thing. Yeah, you can. There you go. So you can also do it on land here. So there you have it. I'm kind of like stuck on it for some reason. Okay. And I'll get down from there. So there are the sea pickles, uh, guys, which is just very, very cool to have. Now, where do you find these sea pickles? So they generate either by themselves in warm oceans or with coral. It says, up to, okay, again, up to four pickles can be placed in a block. I showed you guys that. One, two, three four there you go it's also again it emits light too when it's underwater and it can be smelted to turn like it can be smelted down into green dye and of course uh, it just says pickle so there you have it very very cool uh there and uh this is crazy to think that you know pickles are in minecraft like this is unbelievable and just a lot of features in general also i'll quickly go over the advancement that they have which uh these are kind of like little achievements that you can kind of get which is like fishy business so you can just catch a fish they have tactical fishing which basically what you have to do is you have to go underwater of course and catch a fish with a bucket with let's see if we can catch uh, i probably have to switch into survival here i will also talk about another thing uh underwater as well so let's go into survival now. Uh, this is also gonna affect the, the fact that, you know, being underwater too. All right, I need to just find a fish that I can catch with this bucket. It's also gonna show you guys this other feature as well. And come here, yeah, there we go. So we caught a fish in a bucket. Now, as you can see, I'm on one bubble. So I have no bubbles now, which means I would technically drown if I stand under here. Okay, okay, we have a drown coming after us. So when you go back over water, remember how it used to reset your bubbles completely? Now it actually takes time. So your bubbles actually take time to come back now. So you can't just go up and you get full bubbles. It takes time. Uh, I am going to hit you with a trident, sir. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Stay back. All right, look. Okay, there we go, there we go. Trying to steal my pickles, huh? Trying to, oops. <laughs> Trying to steal me pickles. All right. Oh, okay. I wanted to like. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just place these now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I've started a pickle farm. Uh, there we go. Also, they have a throwaway joke, which is you throw a trident at something. Um, also, they say, well, they say it's not a good idea uh, because you know that's your only weapon. 
Also, they said very, very frightening, uh, which is another one. You can strike a villager, of course, with lightning and more to come. But there you have it, you guys. That's going to wrap it up for the snapshot. Of course, there's like going to be some more little secret features here and there, but I basically wanted to cover up uh, the change log and show you guys some of the features uh, that will be in the update. Let me know what you guys think of it. I'm also going to free this fish as well. We have a cod bucket. There you go. Be free cod. Jump into the water. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the slow falling potion. Also, the sea pickles and the, the whole like riptide trident thing is just awesome. But thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like and share it. Also, feel free to subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Zoom!